Hi, I'm Kim Newcomer. I am with the Ramona Stars 4-H Sewing Project and this month we are making the State Fashion Review Community Service Project which is a port pillow that people put on their seat belts if they're getting cancer treatment and they have a port in their body this pillow will go underneath the seat belt and protect their port. So you will get a kit like this when you open it up you will end up with three pieces. You'll end up with Velcro, a piece of fabric, and stuffing. So the very first thing you're going to do is you are going to take your fabric, you're going to lay it right side up. Check it out. If it needs to be ironed, definitely iron it. And then you're going to take your Velcro pieces, pull them apart, measure about three inches. I got a little ruler here three inches from the bottom and you're going to place one of the sides of the velcro, the one that's fuzzy, you're going to place the fuzzy side up and you're going to put it down there and you are going to pin it of course with the pins pointing toward the outside that way you can take them out when you're sewing and then the other side has hooks on it and you're going to lay the hook sides down on top. You'll line up the edge and then let the two go together and they will actually flap together like that. They'll stick together and then you know you've got it right. Pin the other side down. Of course it doesn't have to be exactly at three inches. It just needs to be sort of in the middle. All right, now I've got my Velcro pinned in place. Take your fabric, fold it in half. Now you've got your fabric right sides together. And your Velcro is inside. Pin three sides. I'm going to start on this side because that's the way it's going to sew. I'm going to sew down here, I'm going to sew down here, and I'm going to sew part way up this side to catch the Velcro. I know where the Velcro is because I got the pin. So I'm just going to put a few pins in the side to hold it in place. Maybe two pins per side. And I'm not going to sew except just past the Velcro. So I'm going to put a pin really close to that Velcro to remind myself. That opening that we leave is going to be where you stuff your stuffing inside. Let's take it over to the sewing machine. And we place our fabric at 5 eighths of an inch seam. And we bring our needle down. I always like to put the needle in where it's going to start. And then put our pressure foot down. We've got 5 eighths of an inch seam. And then I start to sew a couple stitches, then go back, then forward. Keep that 5 eighths of an inch seam, take out your pins, and sew all the way around. It's going to feel a little bulky when you get up to the Velcro. Make sure to take the pin out of the Velcro. So right over the top of that Velcro. Take the other pin out. Watch your seam allowance. Put your needle in where you think your 5 8 inches. Turn and then start sewing the other edge. Pins out. When you've gotten to about 5 8 put that needle down by hand. Turn the corner. This one here. Take those pins out. Now remember, you're going to stop right after you sew over the top of the Velcro. So I'm going to take my pin out of the Velcro. I'm going to take my pin out just past the Velcro and I'm going to sew over the top of the Velcro. I'm going to do a couple back stitches. There go. Lift my pressure foot. Pull this out. Clip those threads. Clip both of the starter threads. All right, we're going to cut the corners and we will go inside the seam allowance and just cut a little diagonal at all four corners, even the one that's not sewn yet. You're just trying to reduce the bulk so when you turn it right side out, it has nice crisp corners. And this one, I'm just going to be very 
conservative here and just cut off a little bit because I don't want to cut off where I'm going to sew. Once those corners are cut, then you're going to turn it right side out. So just start pushing the fabric through. It gets a little bulky with the Velcro. Once it's mostly done, you can put your some sort of a pencil or a chopstick inside there and tease out the corners. There's one. Let's get past this stuff up here. There's two. Oh, that one's not two. There. Teased it out a little bit more so I can see the edge. There's the seam. Three is over here. And then the fourth one it hasn't been sewn yet, so I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of finger press it where I think it needs to be. And then I'm going to iron this just to make it look real spiffy. So let me go over and iron it. I'll be right back. Lays a lot flatter now. You can see where the Velcro is on the back. Kind of open that. I'll keep it closed either way. And we're going to stuff it. So you take your stuffing, find that opening, that seam that wasn't opened yet, and just start pulling off some pieces of batting. Stuff it inside your pillow. You can use a chopstick to stuff that makes it easier. You just use your fingers to stuff it in. You should probably use all the stuffing that you get in the kit. I'm going to use my chopstick to just push some stuffing up towards the corners. Well, now I am going to whip stitch by hand that opening closed. I'm going to pin this together. a couple pins to hold it in place while you whip stitch it. And then I've already got some a needle and thread. And I'm going to try to come up inside, start a little deep push up. That just will try to get that knot inside and the little tail inside. So I'm going to push that inside. I don't won't see it. And then I'm going to start whip stitching. Come from the bottom. Just keep stitching. If you catch your pin, just take it out. Ah! Caught my other pin. Not doing a blanket stitch here, which is when you're trying to catch that thread. Ah! Caught my other pin. Tinier stitches can't be seen. Of course, try to use a color of thread that matches. This one is not really a good match, but it's a good way to show you what I'm doing. Keep pinching with your left hand if you're right-handed. Sewing with your right. I'm going to sew just almost to that Velcro. And then I like to take my needle, press it inside that seam, come up a little distance away. I've got a little pull on my thread there. And then I'm just going to do a simple overhand. And 
And one more time, just push down inside that seam. Come up a little further away. It kind of hides that knot a little bit. Trim that. And then if you want, you can just mess around a little bit by pulling the stuffing into the corners from the outside, pushing it around until you feel like it's nice and plump. And that is your pillow. This will open up and you can wrap it around a seat belt. And then it will keep the seat belt away from the surface where you have your port for cancer treatment. Once your port pillow is done, open up the, just to try it out and see what it will look like in real life, you'll put it underneath the seat belt and then you'll lay down your Velcro, sticky side, fuzzy side, and that's how they work. So you can adjust it if your port's down here and you want to keep it off your chest, put it here, your port's up there. There you are. Enjoy. Thank you for making these, and we will be donating these to cancer patients in San Diego County. Thanks, you guys.